Hello friends, welcome to Dell Soccer. My name is Delali Frank and this is News Daily where I serve you with all the major trending news in the last few hours. In today's edition, we're going to talk about the head coach of the Black Stars who has been unveiled today in Kumasi. The Ghana Football Association's communication director revealed the number of years Chris Hutton is going to spend with the team. I'm going to give you that details. How many years he has signed and everything you have to know. If it's your first time here, place it on the subscription button and let's be the So Chris Hutton has been officially unveiled as the head coach of the Black Stars after he was announced. He was unveiled in Kumasi in pretty much uh, a straightforward ceremony where the communication director started with the details of his contract and then he went ahead into question and answers. I'm going to give you details of his contract. So the first of all, he's, he has signed a contract that runs from now to December 2024. That is uh, pretty much less than two years, but not... I don't know how I'm going to explain because uh, his contract did not start today, that one I'm sure of it, because he released his squad somewhere in February. You know, so if he releases his squad somewhere in February, then that means that he has started his work because calling your squad, naming your squad means that you have started your work maybe a year or like maybe two months or so. You can say averagely he, he signed his contract maybe January. And that's uh, January all the way to the end of the year, which is one year, and then another, uh, which runs all the way to the end of the year. So pretty much two years or less than two years contracts. And that's what he's going to use. His, but his contract is going to end on 21st, uh, uh, 31st uh, December, which is 2024. And the FA communication director also revealed that his contract the same as that uh, of the two assistants, which is George Barton and Masoud Didi Dramani. So they've all signed the same contracts and all of them, their contracts, not in terms of salary, but all of them, their contract is going to end on uh, 2024. That means that we're going to play the first, the African Cup of Nations. And then after that, uh, he'll be playing some of the World Cup qualifiers, I believe. So basically, he will be in charge of the African Cup of Nations. He's going to go and play at the African Cup of Nations. And then after the African Cup of Nations, he'll be around. Because the next African Cup of Nations is around early January, 2024, early January. You know, so right after that African Cup of Nations, you will get to know where we are heading and the kind of football we are going to see. Talking about the kind of football, Chris Hutton was asked, the brand of football he's going to play and uh, he said that he's going to play winning football and as a coach you can talk about he being offensive or defensive but he believes that the most important thing is winning the game he says he's going to put up a squad that is winnable uh, he says that what he believes he can do is to make sure that he plays football that represents the kind of players we have and a football that win games. His expectations and what we should expect from him, he said expectations are different based on anybody. So for him, what he's going to do is that uh, the immediate expectation is for us to win the, the two games in front of us, which is that uh, of the game against Angola, the home and away game. And that's his immediate expectation. He has to win it. And that's where he's going to start from. And also, uh, he was asked the big question, interference in the national team. And he said that uh, he's the new head coach. Any perception has been there in the past, were there without him. And ever since he has been with the national team for uh, the last one year, he believes that he has not, there has been nothing like that. He has worked enough with the team to know that the FA supports him support the technical team and allow them to do what they want to do. He was also asked whether uh, his tenure with the national team, he would describe it as a failure when he was a technical advisor. And he categorically said that uh, you have to break the Ghana 
team and the, the games. First of all, it's disappointment that we, we knocked out in the group stages. But if you look at our game against Portugal, we were not bad. And our game against uh, Korea, we were not bad. So there are some positives. If you break it down, there are some positives. And then there are some negatives. But we have to break it down. And also, he talked about one thing. He talked about the fact that his expectations and what he believes he can do and the knowledge he has picked working with the national team. And he said that his time with the technical team as a technical advisor helped him to understand a lot of things, helped him to get to know the players very well, helped him to appreciate the people around the Ghana Football Association and helped him to understand the system and how Ghana football works, which will help him to become a good coach as he's in charge. Now, he talked about the people of Kumasi and how they support and he believed that yeah he has played in big stadiums like big stadium played in big games but he believed that support is very important and for the support he has received ever since he got to Kumasi it's been a good support for him and he believed that it will help him to be a good coach and it will, it's going to help him to win all the last few games that he's going to play so I think this Chris said that and uh, for him, obviously, we know uh, he was asked whether he can win the African Cup of Nations. He said, definitely, we're going to give it a try. We work hard as a group. He talked about local football. He said, yes. The FA told him how important local football is to him, to them. And yeah, he's going to work closely, watch a lot of games, spend a lot of time in Ghana, make sure that he understands everything that happens around the Ghana Football Association to be able to appreciate everything that happens in Ghana. So this is a summary of uh, everything that happened today. I'm going to give you more updates and also update you and everything. But uh, some of the players will be arriving today and they, they believe they'll be going to train tomorrow as well. And then on Wednesday, they are going to train. And then Friday, uh, on Thursday, we we'll play our games. My name is Delali Frank. This is your first time here. Please hit on the subscription button. But until we meet again, bye-bye for now.